Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya of JSA, and welcome to Telecom Exchange New York City 2018. I'm joined here by my friend, Mr. Eric Ballard. He is the Vice President of Network and Cloud over at Stream Data Centers. Eric, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you. Very oh, well, we are honored to have you here. Tell us about Stream and your vision of delivering premium data center services to enterprises with increasing reliance on cloud computing. Yeah. So Stream has been around since 1999 with a very in-depth focus on enterprise data centers. We have a large focus on the enterprise for the last 20 years, and we think that that bringing forward into the newer technologies such as cloud computing and cloud interconnection is very important to the enterprise. For many years, the cloud wasn't part of anything that the enterprise was bringing forward. But over the last two to three years, we've seen a large inflection of the enterprise data center space migrating part of that into the cloud or public cloud providers. And so over and over and over again, we've had to solve the cloud interconnection issues for our customers to help them continue to drive their needs into the cloud. And you're certainly doing a wonderful job of it. Expansion seems to be uh, the theme for Stream. Uh, you recently announced the construction of a new hyperscale data center campus right in Garland, which is uh, quite close to the Dallas, the metro area there. And this is uh, this is another investment in that in that Dallas area. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, so our, our new Garland site, which is would be known as DFW7 for Stream, our seventh data center in the DFW area. Uh, you know, Dallas has always been a great market. It's headquarters for us, and we we love being in the Dallas area. We think that, you know, as we continue to run out of data center space in the Dallas area, as hard as that is to believe in Texas, there's, you know, there, there's fewer and fewer places where you can find the right interconnection with the right power on the right piece of land. And we believe we found that in Garland. And our, our facility there is on a much larger piece of property in an area that the city of Garland is really focused on the development of data center properties. It's going to be a lar very large site, on-site substation, and will continue to grow in the t with the demands that our customers are bringing to us. And you already shared with us a little bit of the competitive edge, what makes your campuses unique in, in, uh, in the industry, but can you tell us a little bit more about your customer-centric approach to onboarding? Sure. Sure. As we work, our goal is to work with our customers. We don't want to just be a supplier. We, we're, we're not the guys that interface with the procurement, procurement team, and that's it. We have a holistic stack approach with our customers. A lot of our customers have never been in co-location services before. We may be the actual first time that they've ever ventured outside of their own data center and their own four walls. So we make sure that we integrate ourselves as a team member, just a, we become part of the data center team and the IT team and make sure that we're integrated up and down the stack with that customer to help them meet their daily needs. We're not a onboard you and leave you, we're there every day. Our customers have our telephone numbers, our cell phone numbers. They can reach out to us 24 hours a day. We have all the traditional services that co-location offers, but we offer a more personal touch to make sure our customers are getting what they need. Uh, we love that here at JSA. We're big fans of that, and we're part of the stream team now, which we're proud to say. Um, looking into the rest of 2018 and, and the next year beyond, what can we, uh, maybe a little preview of what we can see stream doing? Sure. You know, I think the number one thing that you'll see with Stream is uh, some expansion opportunities. We're looking in several different markets. Uh, I believe you'll see us uh, out on the East Coast more. We've done a lot of business on the West Coast and in Central U.S. And I think what you'll start to see is see us moving out towards the East Coast. I think you'll see a resurgence of us doing business out on the West Coast. Uh, I think you'll start to see our diversification in our portfolio of customers. We'll do more business with the cloud service providers as well as the enterprise providers or the enterprises. Uh, and I think you'll just continue to see growth and expansion and hopefully a few new markets. Uh, we, we've done a lot of business in markets that other people haven't done data centers in. And I think you'll see some of that as well as some of the more traditional data center markets as well. Well, there you have it. Growth and expansion on the menu of Stream. 
We appreciate Eric, you being here. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Happy networking.